I'm getting all snuggly today with my gorgeous stack of sweatshirt knits and jerseys and talking about my cozy sewing plans for the autumn and winter. Hello everyone, I hope you are doing really well and having a really lovely day. Today I thought I would bring you just a quick little chatty video to discuss some of my sewing plans for the autumn and winter. I am definitely feeling in a cosy mood this winter. I think last winter I was trying to go for dresses paired with leggings. This winter I am feeling much more um, inclined towards snuggly sweatshirts and jumpers and things like that. So that's what I am going to be hopefully sewing up. And I have a little stack of gorgeous fabrics right here. So let's get cracking with pattern number one. So the first pattern I plan to make, I'm actually planning to make two versions of this pattern and that is the Tilly and the Buttons Billy sweatshirt. I have made a sort of version of this. I did a sort of a dress hack um, right at the beginning of this year, but I am planning to make a couple of sweatshirts using the different sleeve versions. So the first fabric I got is this one, which I picked up at the Knitting and Stitching show um, back in March. I think it's a Ponty, a Ponty Roma, um, but as soon as I saw it, it was giving me real scamp and dude vibes. Has everybody seen scamp and dudes sweatshirts? They are gorgeous and they have this lovely leopard print. They're a bit more colorful than this one, but this was definitely giving me scamp and dude vibes. I love their jumpers and I wanted to make my own version of it. So I've got this fabric. I think I got a meter and a half and I can't remember the name of the stool that I got it from but it was one of the ones that was right in the middle and they're really really big and I don't actually think they're on social media so I won't be able to tag them anyway but I don't even think they have a website. I think it's uh, just a um, bricks and mortar shop but it's this gorgeous black jersey with gold Oh, it's not even really leopard print, is it? But it's sort of a kind of leopard print, kind of animal-y printy style. And I am planning to make the plain version one regular sleeve sweatshirt top with the neck band, hem band, and sleeve cuffs. No fancy sleeves on this one, just simple, cozy sweatshirt. The thing that I really like about this one, so another jumper that I've made quite a lot of is the Linden sweatshirt. But I've actually recently kind of gone off the Linden sweatshirt because it's a raglan sleeve and the neckline is so wide, it's really hard to put like a thermal top on underneath because it pokes out at your neckline and just kind of ruins the look a little bit. So that is, in terms of reviewing my wardrobe, that's something that I've been thinking about that I want some cozy jumpers that have a slightly higher neckline so that I can layer up with a long sleeve thermal top underneath because I am a very cold person. I get cold very easily. So I like to layer. So that's why I like the Billy sweatshirt because it's got quite a high neckline. So yes, with this fabric, I'm gonna go for the simple sleeved, plain sleeved version of the Billy. The second version of the Billy sweatshirt that I want to make is with the balloon sleeves. So when I made my dress hack Billy top, I used the balloon sleeves and I really love them. I didn't think I would be such a fan of big sleeves, but actually I am really enjoying them. I love that it elevates a really simple top into something a bit more special. And I'm planning to use the Jade waffle knit jersey that we had in uh, September's classic boxes. I've got quite a bit of this. This was um, a sort of end of roll piece. There's quite a bit left over. So I've got two plans for this one, but the first one is, yeah, the Tilly and the Buttons sweatshirt. So again, I'm not gonna make the dress. I'm gonna make the sweatshirt with balloon sleeves and yeah, make it super, super snuggly. Again, I can layer it with a long sleeve thermal top underneath and be so, so cozy, but also super stylish as well. So this fabric is really, really lovely. If you didn't see um, the unboxing back in September, it's a waffle knit jersey. 
um, and it's green it's got this beautiful jade green and flowers and you can see the waffle texture a bit easier a bit easier on the other side but it's super snuggly it's not got a huge amount of stretch so I might need to get some actual cuffing for the cuffs or ribbing for the cuffs and neckline I'll have to think about that because it's not super stretchy but it is beautiful and I've seen lots of people using this and making jumpers and trousers and dresses over on Instagram if you are on Instagram follow the hashtag so Haley Jane makes and you'll find lots of gorgeous inspiration with this fabric as well so that is pattern number two pattern number three then which is also going to use this fabric because I think I should have enough and this is a dress for my daughter that I am planning to make it is the Poppy and Jazz Willow Pinafore. Now, because this fabric hasn't got a lot of stretch in it, I think it would make a really gorgeous little pinafore dress. My daughter's four, so I'm thinking super cute with a little long sleeve top underneath, woolly tights. She's got a cute pair of Ugg boots that her grandmother's friends sent from Australia. And I think that is gonna look so cute and so autumn, winter. I am. A little bit jealous actually I can see it I can picture it and I might want to make a grown-up version for myself as well <laughs> um, but it's so so sweet and you can make this from 18 months up to six years I really like poppy and jazz patterns they're so cute and really easy to sew and really easy to wear and obviously because they're tiny they're pretty quick to sew up but they've got these really cute little pockets with a little pleat detail as well so there's a little something extra going on there too so that is pattern number three. I'm very excited. We might make this this weekend and I will probably rope in Mia to help me as well. She likes to use the foot pedal whilst I do the actual sewing. Her job is to press the foot pedal and take the pins out as well. So it's a really cute little project for us to do together. Pattern number four then. I have been inspired by Tamlin from Sewn on the Tyne and Rachel from Stitched Up and Ruan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl who did a collaboration and made the Closet Core Mile End um, collection. So the Closet Core Patterns Mile End collection includes a sweatshirt and a joggers pattern. And it's the joggers pattern that I would really like to make. I don't have a pair of joggers. I don't jog. So don't go thinking that I'm going to be jogging in them. I am planning to wear them for sitting on the sofa and watching TV. <laughs> I am not planning to jog in them. Um, but I don't have, I have pyjamas, but I don't have some real cosy, cosy, sweatshirty style joggers. I have this fabric that's been in my stash for a little while. It's this really gorgeous, oh, I cut a piece out. It's this really gorgeous, um, mauvey purple. It's got a sort of marbly effect. And it's a sweatshirt and it's knit, so it's got this real cozy, fleecy bit on the back as well. Um, so yeah, the closet core patterns come in two size ranges. You can get the paper pattern in a size 0 to 20, or you can get the PDF pattern in a size 14 to 32 as a PDF. So I will be printing off the PDF version. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to make those, especially as we're sort of getting into the real cold weather and Christmas and snuggling up. But I might also have to use some of this fabric to make my husband a jumper because he quite often nabs this fabric when we're at the office and it gets a bit cold and wraps it around himself as a blanket. So I might have to actually make him something from this as well. So with that in mind, I come to pattern number five. Pattern number five then is the Helen's Closet Jackson Pullover and T-shirt. This is a unisex pattern, so you can make it for men, make it for women. And there's so many different versions. You can get the T-shirt, a pullover, a jumper. You can use lightweight knits or sweatshirting knits um, and things like that. So I might make one of those for myself and one of those for Andy as well. It does say that the uh, the pattern is drafted for someone who is five foot six inches tall so I'm definitely going to have to lengthen it for Andy who is six foot four most of that length is in his torso so he's going to need a little bit of lengthening there um, but yeah super snuggly 
and I cannot wait to make this. Can you, might be a bit overkill if I make the joggers and the top out of the same fabric, but it would be very cute for Andy and me to be a little bit matchy matchy as well. <laughs> Bonus pattern time then. Another pattern that I'm really hoping to get sewn up is a long sleeved basic top. Now I realize that sounds quite boring, but I wear long sleeve t-shirts a lot. Like I said, I get very easily cold. So I like to have long sleeve tops underneath jumpers as well, as also they're really handy for layering underneath pinafore dresses and dungarees and things like that, just for extra layer. But because they're quite fitted. I like them to be quite fitted. So dungarees can be, uh, can hide your shape quite a lot. And I have, I have a waist in there and I quite like people to know that I have a bit of a waist. So I find if I wear a fitted t-shirt underneath, I feel just a little bit more, whatever the word for that is. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I made this uh, back in the spring, which is the Sew Over It Ultimate T-shirt. And I have two fabrics here, a plain white, and then this really beautiful blue, um, which I think I got from Sew's Faction last year. I can't remember I got where I got this white from, but the white is a cotton jersey and the blue is a viscose jersey. So I'm just planning to make a couple of basic tops for layering which helps with the snuggliness. And I love the Sew Over Ultimate t-shirt because it comes in two size ranges. And if you go, if you are plus size, if you are in the bigger size range, it is drafted for bigger busts, for bigger sizes. So there is a dart at the bust to help give a little bit of extra shaping. It's nice and long. It's really easy to grade between your sizes. And there are also three different necklines to choose from. So this is the low scoop, which is absolutely perfect for me. There's also a V-neck or there is a regular t-shirt neck, which is a bit higher as well. Um, nice long sleeves. I might give them a little bit of extra length as well and nice and long in the torso as well. So those are my, some of my sewing plans for the autumn and winter. Co these are the cozy sewing plans. Obviously I have a few other plans for some more stylish dresses, things for the party season. Not that I'm much of a party animal, but you know, I like to have some nice dresses too. But those are my cozy sewing plans. I would love to know if you have some cozy sewing plans for the autumn and winter comment below and let me know your favorite jumper pattern. There are some really great ones out there. So let me know what your favorite is. Give this video a like, and if you aren't already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe and you will be able to find out when I bring out new videos. Have a lovely day, everyone, and I will see you all really soon. Bye.